The Grants in Aid program provides grants for the implementation of programs and projects identified in the current DOST priorities and thrusts and supports SNT activities classified in the General Appropriations Act. The revision was made to streamline procedures and make it more relevant and responsive to the researchers, update provisions in line with new DOST Exacom directives, increase approving authority of implementing and monitoring agencies and make it consistent with new or revised government rules and regulations. The revised DOST GIA guidelines was signed by the Secretary on September 2, 2020 and was issued as an administrative order and took effect on September 29, 2020. The DOST GIA Executive Committee, which is the highest policy and approving body of DOST with authority to make decisions and ensures that these are carried out in the implementation of DOST GIA funded programs and projects, is comprised of the following. The Secretary, the Under Secretaries, Assistant Secretaries, the Executive Directors of the three Sectoral Planning Councils, representatives from the R&D Institutes, Collegial Body, SNT Services and Regional Offices. SNT programs are classified as follows. Research and Development or R&D, defined as comprising of creative work undertaken on a systematic basis in order to increase the stock of knowledge through the conduct of the following activities. Fundamental, basic research, applied research, experimental development and pilot testing. Research and development results utilization, refers to the technology utilization and dissemination of knowledge, and innovation generated from R&D to reach the end users. Knowledge and technologies are diffused through various channels that make up the national innovation system through the following. Technology transfer, technology receptor capability building, and innovation capacity building. Development of human resources and R&D institutions for the SNT sector involves a wide range of interventions from the provision of high-quality education to specialized training and the development, attraction and retention of the country's SNT talents. On the other hand, development of R&D institutions involve the creation of consortia, which address specific SNT concerns of a region or a group. Provision of quality SNT services aims to strengthen the SNT infrastructure to develop and upgrade SNT capacities of institutions and centers of excellence. The following are the eligible DOST GIA recipients. Government Agency, Education Institution, Non-Government Organizations, Non-Profit Institution, Private Company, and Startups. Eligibility Requirements A program or project proposal should be aligned to the harmonized national R&D agenda and should not have any duplication to ongoing or completed programs or projects. Harmonized national R&D agenda and its priority areas and programs. The implementing agency must be a Filipino entity duly registered with the appropriate government agencies, must be either a government agency or its instrumentalities, educational institution, NGO, nonprofit institution, private company, startups or ADOST certified science foundation, and in the case of startups, must be in operation for a minimum of one year to a maximum of three years provided that business model has not been established. For the program or project leader, must be a Filipino citizen, with credentials or proof of capabilities, has a permanent position, has no existing liabilities from DOST, and has no administrative or criminal cases. Proposal Requirements The program project leader shall submit the following documents. Complete project proposal following the DOST formats. Line item budget. 
15% counterpart from the implementing agency. Curriculum vitae and approval, clearance from the following institution. Ethics review for research involving human subject. In case of an animal subject, approval from the Bureau of Animal Industry is required. And for research proposals involving the use of the GMOs, it requires clearance of the DOST Biosafety Committee. For the private sector, non-government organizations and startups, the following are required. For private higher education institutes it requires a certificate of accreditation from the Commission of Higher Education. For private research and development institutes, it should have a good track record in DOST. The grant shall finance project expenditures itemized in an approved LIB following the DOST Form A or the project line item budget. The grant may cover partial or full cost of the project both direct and indirect costs which shall include personal services, MOOE, and capital outlay. Direct cost covers expenses incurred by the implementing agency in the execution of program or project considered indispensable to its operations. It can be broken down according to specific accounts under personnel services, maintenance and other operating expenses, and capital outlay. Indirect cost covers the overhead expenses incurred by the implementing agency in managing and monitoring agency in evaluating and monitoring the program or project. The administrative and project management costs shall fall under this account. Similar to direct cost, the indirect cost can be broken down according to specific item under PS, MOOE and CO. For the personal services, it includes salary and honoraria. indirect cost printing and binding expenses is no longer allowed this should be included under the direct cost expenses grant administration the SPD provides concerned offices with all pertinent documents related to the approved programs or projects for proper documentation and coordination, monitoring and facilitate assistance in the conduct of assessment by the DOST Exacom of major completed R&D projects. The monitoring agency shall ensure the efficient, timely and smooth implementation of approved projects and that set objectives and targets are attained. Moreover, they shall conduct periodic field evaluation, examine a project's budget requirement, evaluate activities conducted, equipment purchased, and review reports submitted, as well as ensure that appropriate IP protection is initiated. Also, they certify the request for foreign travel of the implementing agency if it is essential and necessary to the project and consistent with the approved LIB. The implementing agency, on the other hand, shall have primary responsibility for all project activities. 
it shall notify the monitoring agency of significant concerns or problems related to project implementation and shall ensure submission of required reports on time. The program or project leader shall have the following responsibility. In cases of project extension, the following should be noted. No payment of honoraria. Restrict from extension in duration of projects with less than one year duration. Request is not later than three months before the completion date. Maximum of only two extensions except for force majeure. For extension in duration, the approving authority falls under the monitoring agency while the funding agency for extension with use of unexpended balance or savings and extension with additional funding. Suspension of ongoing project for a maximum of three months shall be approved by the undersecretary concerned. On the other hand, the monitoring agency shall then report to the Exacom the suspension upon which the Exacom shall decide on the resumption, extension of suspension or cancellation of the project. The budget reprogramming and or modification shall be made not later than two months before the end of the project's current year. The allowed number of budget realignment is three for each of the implementing and monitoring agencies, including the approved extension, if any. The following are the required reports. The program or project leader shall submit periodic accomplishment reports to the funding agency through the monitoring agency. All reports must be duly endorsed by the head of the implementing agency. The funding and monitoring agency shall conduct periodic field monitoring to assess the progress of project implementation and help resolve problems, if any. For NGOs, Terminal audited financial report shall be verified by the accountant of the monitoring agency. Project equipment authorized to be purchased using GIA funds shall be used exclusively for the program or project. The program project leader shall sign the corresponding PAR and LEP attested by the property officer of his or her institution, while the funding agency shall issue PTR and deed of donation to the implementing agency. Government agencies shall record the equipment purchased out of the project funds in accordance with the Government Accounting Manual, COA Circular No. 2015-002 and other pertinent issuances. For the private sectors, startups, NGOs and POs. Please submit to the monitoring agency all documents related to purchase of equipment within 15 days from the date of payment. To promote and encourage the conduct of R&D and establishment of innovative new businesses that foster an innovative entrepreneurial culture in the Philippines, the funding agency allows the transfer of ownership of an equipment without cost to the implementing agency. Upon completion of the project, the funding agency may allow the transfer of ownership of an equipment without cost in favor of a particular institution which implemented the project subject to the following conditions. Likewise, please take note of the following requirements. Request letter from the implementing agency for inventory and donation of equipment. Submit LEP, JEV, PAR, FR, Terminal Report and Reversion of UB free from financial and technical obligations to DOST, conduct of inventory of equipment, issue of PTR or execution of deed of donation.